Okay, so just a quick video today kind of explaining how you can eliminate EMI or electromagnetic interference um, when you have two CRTs in very near proximity to each other such as these two that I have right here. And uh, basically the way CRT technology works is that uh, an image is created on the face of the monitor or screen by streaming electrons that are emitted from an electron gun obviously uh, which is located at the back end of a glass vacuum tube inside your set. and. Um, the direction and focus of the beam is controlled by internal magnetic fields, uh, which are generated by horizontal and vertical deflector coils. But, I mean, oftentimes when you've got these sets so close to each other, you will get stray EMI fields, and uh, it does cause a bit of distortion on the screen, or like horizontal scrolling vertical lines, things of that nature. And with these two, I was having a little bit of a problem with that. Uh, with the three that I have over here, I've never had that issue because there is a little bit of distance between them, at least a sufficient amount so that that never occurred. But yeah, mainly I think the culprit here is that this CRT over here that I'm using is one of those energy efficient CRTs and those things were configured to operate at much lower anode voltages. So uh, the electron beam travels a bit more slowly and it makes them a whole lot more susceptible to EMI or electromagnetic interference. And yeah, there's a couple of ways you can sort of get around it. First of all, just, uh, you know, have some good luck and hope that the sets are, uh, you know, shielded enough so that doesn't happen. But you can actually find a special type of metal which uh, can kind of shield stray EMI fields. But, <laughs> I mean, if you don't want to go through all that trouble, a uh, much more simple route I would suggest is what I've done here. And uh, if you can see, these two screens are slightly angled. So if you kind of... I don't know, you, you know, obviously if you move them far enough away from each other, that would probably the, be the best solution, but uh, just in case you don't have enough space, kind of like me, you might want to try this, and I'll see if I can get uh, kind of an overhead view. You can see this one is angled slightly to the right, uh, and this one is slightly angled uh, to the center. Well, they're both kind of angled towards the center, so you can see that here. And uh, once I did that, that cleared up all the issues I was having, really. Those uh, horizontal scrolling lines just went away so quickly, which is pretty awesome because it's kind of annoying to look at. Now, when you're looking at these CRTs through the camera, of course, it's going to create all this distortion that's not actually there, but, I mean, you're well familiar with that by now, I'm sure. But, yeah, just a little thing that I found was pretty useful. just want to sort of angle the faces of the monitor kind of towards the center of where they're located. So if you've got like two here, you know, just kind of uh, move the uh, right and left side in the center and uh, kind of push them back a little bit so that you're creating sort of like a small V angle in the middle. And yeah, that worked pretty great. I'm not having any of those issues, which is pretty awesome because I'm limited for space in here. And you know, I like to have all these CRT displays set up for uh, my arcade games and uh, console ports of arcade games to make it you know, look like an old school arcade, so. Just a little technique you can use, simple little trick to uh, eliminate EMI that you might be experiencing with uh, two CRTs that are very close to each other, so. Appreciate you watching, and I'll talk to you soon.